is one of those wonderful dishes that is not only simple, but it's delicious. Hey, today we're gonna to make butter chicken. Can you believe it? Butter chicken, doesn't that sound like two things that just go so well together? You're gonna to really love this recipe. It's a very favorite of mine to do, and of course, if you like cooking for it, tell me they just love it. It's gonna melt in your mouth. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and if you got any comments, please let me know, because I can personally respond back to you. Maybe you have some comments about butter chicken or other types of chicken or any of the maybe Indian dishes that you really like, okay? Now, for this recipe, we have some ingredients that we need to put together. One of them, obviously, is butter. In addition to that, I'm using chicken thighs. I'm going to cut those up and we're going to season them and also put them into our pan and make them just so delicious. But in even better, we're going to add other ingredients. We have garam masala. We have garlic. Goodness, it's just so good. And we have, of course, onion. I can't cook without onion. Cream, tomato sauce. Oh my goodness. We got just all these wonderful ingredients we're gonna put together. And of course, a little bit of cayenne pepper to make it spicy. You can add more if, if you like. That would be just fine. And definitely some cumin. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started by cutting up our chicken. And of course, I'm just gonna season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. We can always add more salt later. We don't want it to over season our chicken. And anyway, people usually have salt on their tables at home to put in what they like. All right, a little bit of spice. And now I've got my butter in the, my pan. And so as it's heating up, I'm gonna cut up the chicken and then place it right there in the pan. I wanna cut it into bite-sized pieces. So remember, if it'll fit on the fork, fit in your mouth, it will be just the right size. This is not one of the dishes where I want to give people a fork, I mean a knife to cut it with. It's already going to be cut into it. If you don't like the fat, you can cut some of the fat off of the chicken, or you can just use a boneless skinless breast of chicken if you will. I have here the chicken thighs, and I like to taste a little bit of the fat now and then, okay? So that also gives some good flavor to our dish. Of course, you know everything we do has to be about the flavor, and that's what we're doing right here. So cut up your chicken thighs, into more bite-sized pieces. Okay, so I've cut up my chicken. Nice bite-sized pieces. Let's brown off those bite-sized pieces in this melted butter. I'm gonna put this board off to the side. And I'm going to uh, wash my hands before I get started. Okay, I'm going to brown my chicken. You see how they're nice bite-sized pieces? So let's brown them off into the butter. It already has salt and pepper on there, and they're just gonna be ever so tasty. And they don't take a lot of time to cook, perhaps maybe two, three minutes, like that. So while those are browning up, I'm gonna turn my heat down just a little bit, and then I'm gonna start getting my vegetables ready. So now we're gonna dice up an onion. So I'm going to remove the part which has the flour, and then also the part where the root is. Place it upside down on your counter, Looking at the root, put your knife right there in the center and push down. What that's going to do is divide our onion in half and then remove the outside two layers of onion skin like this. And then I'm going to show you how to perfectly dice an onion. So easy. So what we do is where the root is, I make an invisible line and I make a series of vertical slices down just like that. And then turn my onion a quarter turn, and again, vertical slices down. Look how easy the onion is diced. When you get to that invisible line, we cut around the root, and we're gonna throw that away because it no longer serves our purpose. Again, I need the other part of the onion, so I'm gonna do the same thing, invisible line, and vertical slices down.
over, around, and out. So our onion now is diced. Our chicken now is also brown. Look at that beautiful color. It's flavoring the oil and butter, I'm sorry, it's flavoring the butter that's in our pan. So now we're gonna take it out, place it here in our bowl because it's time to start cooking the rest of this recipe. All right, let's cook our onions. Place them right in here. Same pan where the chicken came out of. So it's got lots of good flavor in there. Let's give it a little bit of a stir. Okay, and then while that's cooking up, all those little bits and pieces you see in the bottom of the pan, that's gonna come up right into our sauce and make a really flavorful sauce. And adding some more flavor, look what we're gonna do. We're gonna put some garlic. Okay, I'm going to take my garlic, I'm going to slice it like this, just a few slices in this manner, and then this way, and do the same thing with the other garlic cloves. After I do that, I'm going to mince my garlic, and to mince the garlic, I'm going to show you just how that works. You put it together, put your hand on top of your knife, and just go back and forth like this. So you want to give it to a nice coarse chop. It doesn't have to be too fine because it is going to cook right into our dish along with the onions. Our onions are cooking down and nice and soft. So at this point, I'm going to add in the garlic that we just chopped up. I don't put it in too early because garlic tends to burn and I don't like that burnt garlic. It just kind of ruins the whole dish and I don't want that to happen. So while the garlic is cooking, I'm gonna add some more flavors to cook along with it. So we wanna cook it for about a minute, okay? Cayenne pepper, that's gonna make it spicy. Use whatever amount you feel is correct, or even leave it out, not a problem, okay? Cook that spice in there, all right. Gouda masala, let's put some gouda masala in there, and we'll stir that. And then cumin. Let's put some cumin right in there and get them happy. Right. Smelling this wonderful spice, just is permeating the air. It's just so, so, so good. And now I'm going to add some more butter and some ginger. Let's grate some fresh ginger in there. And I always use fresh ginger, not the powdered. So keep that in mind when you're cooking. Because the powdered is more for baking and it doesn't have the same kind of a flavor profile that you're looking for. Okay. So that our spices have cooked, let's go ahead and add in some tomato sauce. The tomato sauce is actually going to help unify this dish by even capturing all those flavors that we've incorporated. Remember, we're layering on these wonderful flavors. And you can see what's happening to the bottom of the pan now. All those spices that are cooked into it, all the chicken bits and pieces that are cooked into it, all the sugar that came from the onions and the garlic is now cooking into our sauce. We're scraping the bottom of the pan as we're going along. Add some more sauce. We're using a canned tomato sauce. You could use your own tomato puree if you wish. But uh, we're not using a herb tomato sauce as you would, for example, making a uh, pasta dish. Alright, and now you think this is over with, but you're wrong because I'm going to add another layer of flavor, heavy cream. So heavy cream, not the cream you use for your coffee half and half, but heavy cream has a high fat content in it, as if we needed more fat with all that butter, right? 
but it also cooks down and even thickens up your dish. Okay, let's just get some more of those little bits and pieces that are there. And then we're going to incorporate our chicken that we browned off. So you see why it's important to brown up the chicken. Had I put the chicken in the sauce right now, it would actually poach it. And we want that color in there. And we want the flavor of the two pieces that is in the bottom of the pan to be incorporated into our dish. Mm, it is smelling heavenly right now. All right, let's put in the chicken. And if there's any butter that's still in that pan, put that in there too. Get it all in there. And we're going to let this cook for about another minute or two. Buttery chicken is just about ready. I'm going to give it a little bit of a taste because you know you never want to trust a chef that doesn't taste their own food, right? I've got to see if it has enough seasoning in there. Let's give it a little bit of a taste. Oh, that's wonderful, but it does need a tiny bit of salt. Let's sprinkle a little bit of salt in there. Kick it up just a notch. You can obviously put in more if you wish. So please leave your comments on this dish. Also, definitely you gotta subscribe because you wanna see the rest of my videos. And in addition to that, let me know what you think. I would love to respond to your comments. And as always, the recipe is located right here below the comments. So that's very important. So this is our butter chicken. Oh my goodness, it's so good. It's finger licking good. Let me just show you how to serve this wonderful dish. We're gonna go ahead and plate it up. Just turn the fire off first. Doesn't that look divine? Oh man, what are you talking about? This is so good. I'm serving this with our Jira rice, the cumin rice, and you can find that recipe also on our show. We have so many great recipes out there. And let's just garnish it with a little bit of freshly chopped cilantro. And of course, as always, this is one of those wonderful dishes that is not only simple, but it's delicious.